Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how you can create a simple social media app using MIT App Inventor. So to create this, we are going to use CloudDB and we are also going to use the list view component. So let me show you the demo of this app. Over here, you can see that I have installed the social media app in both the mobiles. So as of now, there is no post. I'm going to click on write a post in one of the mobile and I'm going to put my name Krishna like this. And then I'm going to put the post title to be MIT App Inventor Tutorials just for an example. Next, I'm going to put the post description. Now you can see that I have entered all the details. I'm going to click on create post. Now you can see that it shows that your post was created. Now you can see that in the other mobile, if you go to view posts, you can see in the mo mo both mobiles, the post, you can see the name, you can see the title and also the description. So you can see that the post is getting shared to all the mobiles. Now I'm going to add a reply to this post in another mobile. So I'm going to click on write a post and I'm going to put a different name this time. So let me just put Sriram like this and I'm going to put the post title to be hello. I'm going to click on create post. You can see that it shows your post was created. Now I'm going to go to view posts and you can see both the posts are visible in this mobile. Now in the other mobile also you can see the name and the title and the description. So if you want you can also add images in the social media app so that the users can share images in this app. So I'll show everything in this video. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. So first we are going to put the title for this app. So let me bring in a label and I'm going to change the text of this label to be social media app. Next, I'm going to increase the font size of this to be 30 and I'm going to make the font to be bold like this. Next, I'm going to bring this to be at the middle of screen one. So we are going to change align horizontal to be center like this. Over here, you can see that the title is visible. Next, we are going to go to the layout and we are going to bring in a vertical arrangement for which I'm going to put the height and the width to be fill parent so that it occupies the whole screen. Also, make sure that in your screen one properties, the scrollable property is checked like this. Next, what we are going to do is inside this, we are going to duplicate this label and we are going to put it inside the vertical arrangement. Again, we want this to be at the center. So let's go to the vertical arrangement properties and we are going to put align horizontal to be center like this. Next, we are going to rename this label to be view posts. Over here, you can see the title. Next, let's go to the user interface and I'm going to bring in a list view. So in this list view, the user will be able to see all the posts in this social media app. Now I'm going to put the width of this to be fill parent and I'm going to change the background color of this to be white. Next, I'm going to change the text color to be black and also the text color detail to be black like this. Now I'm going to put the list view layout over here to be instead of main text, we are going to put main text and detail text and we are going to put the vertical like this, the vertical layout. So this is going to be the list view layout. So make sure you do this because this is very important in this app. Next, after you finish with the list view, what we are going to do is we are going to rename this vertical arrangement to be view posts. So I'm going to go to rename and I'm going to rename this to be view posts. You can see that it is renamed. Next, I'm going to make this to be invisible and we are going to go to layouts and we are going to bring in another vertical arrangement for which we are going to put the width to be fill parent and the height to be fill parent like this. Also make sure that the align horizontal is center. Next, again, we are going to duplicate this and we are going to put it inside the vertical arrangement. And this time the text is going to be write a new post or create a new post. Next, let's go to the user interface and I mean the layout and we are going to bring in an horizontal arrangement inside this vertical arrangement for which we are going to put the width to be fill parent. Next, I'm going to put the align vertical property to be center for this horizontal arrangement. Next, we are going to bring in a label and also we are going to bring in a text box like this. In this label, we are going to put the text to be your name. I'm going to increase the size of this label to be 18 and I'm going to make the label to be the font of the label to be bold like this. Next, in the text box, what we are going to do is let's change the hint of this text box to be name. And in this text box, we are going to put the width of this to be fill parent like this. Also, make sure that you increase the font size to be 16 like this. Next, I'm going to duplicate this whole horizontal arrangement like this. And next, we are going to put the post title. So I'm going to put post title over here in this label. 
and over here in this text box we are going to change the hint to be title next i'm going to again duplicate this and this time we are going to put post description and over here let's go over here and i'm going to put the hint of this text box for the description to be right about your post Next make sure that you select the multi line property for this text box so that they will be able to enter the description in multi line so they can enter more than one line in the description text box like this. Next we are going to bring in a button like this over here and we are going to rename the text to be create post and I'm going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size of this to be 20 like this. Next we are going to rename all of these components so first starting with the vertical arrangement I'm going to rename it to be write post. And we are going to rename this text box to be name txt which means name text box and the same way for all other components. You can see that I renamed all of these so over here you can see the name txt, the title txt and the description txt and also the create post button. So I have renamed all these components. Next what we are going to do is let's go to the layout and we are going to bring in a horizontal arrangement for which I am going to put the width of this to be fill parent. And we are going to put the align horizontal and the align vertical to be center like this. Now over here in the user interface, I'm going to bring in a button and let's change the text of this button to be right post. I'm going to increase the font size of this to be 18 and I'm going to make the font to be bold like this. Next, I'm going to put the width of this to be 50%. Next, I'm going to duplicate this button like this. Next, I'm going to rename the button one to be write post btn and I'm going to rename button 2 to be view posts you can see that I renamed both of these components and in this button 2 which is the view post button let's change the text of this to be view posts now we are going to go over here to the storage section and we are going to bring in the cloud db component so we are going to use this as the database where we will store all the posts so that everyone can access it Next, we are going to go over here to the user interface and we are going to bring in a notifier like this. Now, let's go to the block section. So, first, I'm going to go over here and we are going to go to the horizontal arrangement where you have two buttons, write post btn and view post btn. So, we are going to bring in this block when write post btn dot click. So, when the write post btn is clicked, we need to make sure that the write post vertical arrangement is visible. So, I'm going to bring in this block and we are going to set the write post visible to be true like this next I'm going to duplicate this block and we are going to set the other vertical arrangement which is the view post vertical arrangement to be false so that it is not visible next I'm going to duplicate this whole thing and this time we are going to put the view post btn dot click when the view post btn is clicked the right post should be false it should not be visible and the view post should be visible so I'm going to put true over here like this Next, the user should be able to create a post. So when the user clicks on this create post button, so let me go over here to the blocks and we are going to go over here and we are going to bring in this create post button dot click block. So when the user clicks on the create post button to create the post, we are going to use cloud DB. So over here in the cloud DB component, let's bring in this block append value to list. So we are going to store all the messages in a list. So you can store it in a format of a list. So we are going to put the tags so let me just go over here and the tag is going to be all posts and then the item to add will be a list. So I'm going to bring in a uh, make a list and this will be the list of the name, the post title and the post description. So I'm going to go over here and we are going to get the name dot txt dot text like this. Next, let's duplicate this and we are going to put the second one, which is the title of the post and then we are going to put the description so I'm going to bring in another item in this list and we are going to put the description so this is the format in which we are going to store so we are going to add it to the list in the all post tags in cloud DB and then what we are going to add the item is going to be the list of name title and the description so this is how we can create a post now after the post is created we need to show the user that the post was created so for that we are going to use the notifier component so let's bring in this block show message dialog and we are going to bring in the text so the message is going to be the post was created next I'm going to put the title of this to be posted and the button text to be ok 
like this so you can see that now we we also show the message dialog or the notifier to the user next the user should be able to see all the posts in this app so for that when the screen one is initializing so let's bring in this block and when it is initializing we are going to get the value from the cloud db like this and the tag for the value is going to be all posts and if there is no value in the all post tag which means there are no messages we are going we are just going to create an empty list like this next also when the user clicks on the view post button we need to update it in the cloud db so we are going to get the value from the cloud db and update it in our app like this next what we are going to do is when there is any change in the cloud db so when the data is changed in the cloud db which means there could have been new posts in the app we need to update it to show the user so again we are going to duplicate this and we are going to put the same block in which we are going to get the value for the tag all posts next we are going to create a new variable so let me go to variables and we are going to name this variable all posts and we are going to put an empty list for this variable like this at the beginning next we are going to go to the cloud db component and we are going to bring in this block when cloud db one dot got value so after we get the value from the for the tag all posts we need to arrange it in a in the list view and we need to show it to the user so for that first we are going to set the all post list to be an empty list so again we are going to duplicate this over here after we get the value first it is going to be an empty list next we are going to loop through the list which is the value so we are going to loop through every post over here in this tag so to loop it we are going to go over here to the control and we are going to bring in this block for each item in list so let me just rename this to be post so for each post in the list of the value so the value of in this value you have all the posts so for each post what we are going to do is we are going to add an item to this all posts variable so let's go over here to the list and we are going to bring in the add item block like this add items to list block and the list is going to be all post list which we have already created and the item is going to be so to get the item let's go to the list view and we are going to bring in this block call list view one dot create element using which you can put the main text the detail text and the image if you want so we are going to put the main text so let me just go over here to the lists and we are going to bring in this block select list item so we are going to select a list item for the main text so we as you know the po every post is a list so every post has three items in the list the name of the user who has posted it as you can see the name the title of the post and the description so what we are going to do the main text is going to be the name so the list over here is going to be the post and the index is going to be one because at the index one we have the name of the user so let me put one over here next i'm going to duplicate this and for the detail text we are going to use the join block like this because we are going to join many strings so first we are going to bring in a string like this and we are going to put the post title so i'm going to put title over here like this and i'm going to put something like this a colon and a space next we are going to select the item number two in the index of the post so that we we are going to set the index to be two so that we can get the title which is the which is in the index two of the post next we are going to go over here and we are going to bring two more things for this for the description now i'm going to duplicate this and before we put description over here make sure you move to the next line so we are going to add the new line command like this so you can put it like this and then we are going to type description over here so to show the description again we are going to duplicate this and this time we are going to put index 3 because we are storing the description in the index 3 of the list next as, as of now there is no image so i'm just going to put an empty string for the image name like this next we need to sh show all this in the list view so we are going to go to the list view component and we are going to set the list view elements like this so make sure you put this outside of the for loop so next we are going to set it to be the all post variable so i'm going to get the value of the all posts and we are going to show it in the list view next if you want you can also put some images and you can put videos in the social media app so as you know there are many social media apps like facebook instagram where you can share videos and photos so if you want to add this feature in this app you can do that by introducing the camera component which is over here in the media section so you can see the camera component and also you, you to for recording videos you can see the camcorder component using which you can record the videos so you can add these components over here 
and then you can store the picture or the image and the video in the cloud db and again you can access it and show it over here so you can use the same method to show it and i have already created tutorials on how you can use the camcorder component and the camera component so i'm going to give the list i'm going to give the link for this in the description below now let's test the app and let's see if it is working over here you can see the app so now i'm going to click on write a post and i'm going to put my name and i'm going to put the title over here just to be hello and i'm going to put the description to be high like this next i'm going to click on create post you can see that it shows your post was created now i'm going to click on view posts over here you can see that the post is visible it shows my name the title and also the description as i showed in the beginning of the video these these posts will be visible to all who are in this app so that you can share your messages with them next you need to add a chat option in this app so you can watch this tutorial on how you can create your chat app and also watch my full course of mit app inventor over here